Well, we start off day 28 where we left off. I uh, went to bed this morning around 2 o'clock. And uh, I've been trying to get time management set up so I can do the wheel pants. Well, I didn't get to them last night. But I do need to go out and get some DC 540 today. So while I'm gone, I want to have those wheel pants off and uh, and dry them. So we're going to do those this morning. Sandpaper, lots of it. Gotta be a sander. I hope you guys didn't get too bored of my. I only put an hour of sanding on. Because I just don't wanna. I don't want you to lose interest. I'm still thinking about the, our build along project and what we're gonna do. I think that that's going to be cool that uh, we can share that and and we'll see it all come to uh, to being. So throw this stuff out. Don't get excited. Fingernail there and fingernail file and sand that. Look for a minute for, for the screw, and if I can't find it, which I'm not going to be able to, oh well, we won't worry about it. I'm cut another one, got a fingernail file. The uh, Edge of the door had a little primer build up. Take a fingernail file and make that a nice clean line. Might as well do both of them while I got it. Got it handy here. Thank you. 
Okay, now let's move on to the next project, which is z -poxing the wheel pads. This is what the wheel pants look like on the inside. As I said, the door is what holds the wheel on. And, uh, we'll z epoxy this all up. This is relatively light. I don't, I don't understand why these things are so heavy. I guess maybe it's just door. I guess I could grind a little bit of that out. Yeah, I'll grind. I started grinding this one out here on, on this side. I'll do that over there on, on the other ones. But I want, before I go to the, to the uh, auto parts store, I want to get the z epoxy going. So. Get my little cups here. Put one for the screws. And the parts. Those are aluminum. And I have lost a washer already. Lost a screw, lost a washer. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, the z -poxy. It's like a little more harder in it so it, I don't have to wait all day for it to dry. Okay, back from the post office, went and got a couple more cans of DC 540. This is all dried up. I sanded it out, and uh, we're going to shoot. This is the light can, so we'll shoot a dust coat of primer on this, and then sand it out, and another coat of primer, and 
it shouldn't take much to, to finish these off because they've been z -poxy. I know what they started out weighing when I started. We'll see how much the finish is on these. probably uh, take this video and put it with the wheel pants video but this is all part of finishing I'm going to uh, restructure the website itself so that it's all links that you can see Okay, we'll let that sit, and I've got to sand out this other one. And uh, it's relatively smooth because we we took all the epoxy off, so just 320, and uh, sand this off. Doesn't look like we're going to get paint on it today. I'll have to do that tomorrow, but uh, that's all right getting late in the day to start painting. But this airplane will be <clears throat> in its base color. This is day 28. It'll be in its base color in one month. fly this at, on my birthday for for the uh, isolated stunt contest and by the way I'm the guy that suggested that contest 20 years ago that's my birthday contest and it's cold sometimes I haven't flown it in quite a few years I just don't like the cold if I get this done when I get an opportunity, I'll probably start the season off with isolated. That's nice. Real nice. As always, the first coat of primer always looks terrible. All the grain and all the mistakes. weeks later, which this is day 28, it's a hundred percent ready to paint. I've got it, uh, all the wheel pants finally done and, uh, you know, primed and sanded and, uh, and everything's ready to go. So basically what I'm going to do tonight, it's kind of late, uh, I am going to just take some thousand grit sandpaper and completely go over the whole model and make sure that it is ready to go and uh, tomorrow we'll put some white paint on it. Let me give you a little side view of what it looks like. Uh, I showed you how to how to put the canopy on and how to get it ready. Now the wheel pants, they did take all day, so, you know, so uh, it is, it is something that uh, is time consuming. 
And see, I'm gonna have to uh, maybe rebend that little piece of the wire on the gear or put a tube in there. Anyway, um, I'm not real nice. I don't know what it weighs yet, but uh, it ain't finished yet. But tomorrow, we'll shoot some white on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and post the uh, <coughs> the wheel pants finish in the wheel pants section, and uh, I'll go ahead and post this on open forum so that uh, people can see what's going on in Control Line Craftsman. Remember that we're going to start our build-along project and uh, that's going to be a fun thing where we're going to use the side of a shoe to make an airfoil and, and I'll show you just exactly that you, you don't need a program or anything like that. The diamond airfoils work. They all work. So I'll, I'll show you that uh, and you can have fun with it. So I'm going to post this up. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow when we start painting. So... Kite lines.